this portion, the part that falls under the radical, is called the discriminant. Okay, and there's three different uh, three different ways that the discriminant, uh, three different kind of properties it can display. And the discriminant can either be equal to zero. It could be a positive number, so greater than zero, or it could be a negative number. Okay, and so there's in in the homework you're going to be asked some questions. Something like, based on the discriminant, uh, how many and what type of solutions will you have for this equation? So if you just take these values, the b squared minus 4ac values of it, when it's written in standard form, you can identify. Well, let's look to see what happens. So uh, let's start in this case down here. What if the value that's inside this square root is a negative number, is less than 0? Hey, can you take the square root of a negative number? No. So are there going to be any real solution? No. So this one will have no real solutions. Which means how many or what other type of solutions are there going to be? It's going to have two imaginary solutions. So if you have a negative number under a radical, your solutions are going to be imaginary. Okay, so if the, dis if the discriminant is a, a value less than zero or a negative value, you're going to have two imaginary solutions and no real solutions. Okay, what happens if the discriminant is a, a positive value? So if you took the square root of a positive value, that gives you some positive number. So if you take negative b plus that number divided by 2a and negative b minus that number divided by 2a, how many different real solutions are you going to get? You're going to have two different real solutions. Okay, so that happens if your discriminant is a positive number, if it's greater than 0. And then finally, what if this b squared minus 4ac is 0? What is the square root of 0? Zero. So is negative b plus zero all divided by 2a any different than negative b minus zero divided by 2a? No. Adding zero, subtracting zero, it's not going to change the, the original value at all. So it's just going to be negative b over 2a, which means if you have a discriminant that's equal to zero, how many different solutions will you have? It's just going to have that one real solution. And in this particular case, there's no imaginary solutions. It's just the, the one real solution. And it's a repeated zero is what it would be called because the, um, the two different factors or the two different solutions, values that are solutions, um, are going to be exactly the same.